Okay, so now we come to the part where uh, we need to access our MyNode. We haven't plugged a monitor or a keyboard or a mouse into the Raspberry Pi. So the way that we access it is through our normal computers. And we do it through our browser. Now, what we need to type in is uh, http colon slash slash mynode.local. Okay. Um, now, what we're doing here is we are trying to access the Raspberry Pi, and you'll only be able to access uh, the MyNode if you're on the same network as um, or as uh, as the Raspberry Pi. So your computer and your uh, MyNode need to be on the same network for this to work. So it will then start to show what's known as Quick sync. Okay. There's a couple of things that I wanted to speak to before we get into Quick Sync. If your computer or if your um, if you can't access from your web browser uh, this page, that means you might be on a separate network. So just be clear that how your network is running and just make sure that that's okay. Um, and making sure that all your hardware is set up correctly. That's another. Um, avenue that you'll need to explore as well. Now, when it comes to accessing the MyNode, the preference is to not do HTTP, but HTTPS, colon slash slash, okay? Now, you might, in your browser, you might uh, see some sort of warnings or something like that. Um, just click accept the risks and go through. Um, what this basically does is, in HTTP, uh, the um, anyone on your on your network can potentially have a look at the password that you're going to input or the default password which is bolt um, so it's really important that we use HTTPS okay now I wanted to make mention of what quick sync is quick sync is a way of as the name suggests quickly synchronizing to the blockchain uh, or to the Bitcoin network now, QuickSync, when you download all the transactions, they are not actually being downloaded from uh, the Bitcoin network itself. There's a torrent on everybody else's MyNode, and you are downloading from them. So, where this torrent is stored is on the actual hard drive itself, and that is now downloading. What will happen is that it will download up to a certain point, it's a big, call it like a zip file, and it will then take that zip file, unzip it, and place it into the directory that it needs to go in. And that's what QuickSync will do. After that has, uh, you know, completed, then from there it will get from uh, that point to then the chain tip, and that part will be downloaded off the Bitcoin network itself, and that will be downloaded by default through Tor. Okay, so that is what Quick Sync or the 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 basic rundown is: is you are downloading a torrent file, you are extracting it up until a certain point um, on the blockchain, and it will then be extracted into where it needs to go. All the blocks will be in the right place, and then from there you'll pick up. Um, all the rest of the blocks are directly from the Bitcoin network. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense, and that is what QuickSync is. Okay. Now, if you wanted to disable that whole thing, uh, what you can do, and look, I uh, there have been, you know, um, uh, there's differing opinions on this, but if you want to directly get it from uh, the uh, the Bitcoin network, uh, you can click on settings and it'll open you to this page. Okay. Now, if you scroll down, what you can do is uh, disable the quick sync. Okay. So, disable, disabling quick sync will remove the quick sync files and stop the process. This may take a long time if, the Bit if Bitcoin is not already synced, but you can re enable quick sync later. So, you can disable that and that will actually. Uh, remove uh, that big file 
uh, that you're downloading the torrent file off your computer. Now these are the quick sync rates because it is a torrent um, and as you can see you can control the background upload and download rates for quick sync. This helps the MyNode network so you can download up to that sort of um, speed or you can set the upload rates as well to to get other people to sort of uh, to help them out. If you disable it this all sort of uh, goes away. So that's what kind of quick sync is. Now if you do decide to disable it with quick sync then what you will notice is that your Bitcoin will run through Tor and it will fetch the blocks through Tor which can be significantly slower than if you were to do it uh, via ClearNet. So just be mindful of that. How, now understand that if you are going down the quick sync method that there is some level of, I guess, trust. Now, the other thing that I wanted to show you is the terminal itself. And I'll show you where all the files are being downloaded and stored. So in your um, uh, Mac or if you're on Linux, you can uh, get onto a terminal. Windows users, um, you can use this uh, piece of software called Putty to do this. Um, now, unfortunately, at this point in time, I don't think the Linux terminal actually works here. Um, so, by clicking that. So, what you can do is, if you go into the um, into a terminal, you can do ssh admin at 192.168.2.104 for me, because that's the local IP that's sitting here. Okay. So, what you can do is uh, go into there. and it'll take some time. And uh, you'll type in the default password of Bolt. Sorry, if you get some sort of notification about SSS uh, signatures, just type yes. And so this will then bring you to this screen where it's got the MyNode, uh, and it gives you statistics of what's going on with your, with your MyNode. Okay. Now, where are these stored? Where's the information stored? So Typically, when you mount a hard drive, it goes into CD slash MNT. So I'm changing directory into MNT. And if you list that out, it's got another folder called HDD. So let's go change directory into HDD. Now we'll list that. Another folder, okay, is called MyNode. So let's go into MyNode. Let's list what's in there. So we can see a whole bunch of, um, of, of folders here. Now, what would stick out is this quick sync folder. So let's have a look at what's in there. So CD quick sync, and we'll look into that folder here. So we can see here that this is the torrent file that we're downloading. And this here is the blockchain, um, or for a better word, WinZip uh, that we're downloading, okay? So if you want to get more information on that, you can see here that this is going to be a 268 gigabyte file. Um, so it's going to download out of the, roughly right now, the blockchain is 300 gigabytes. So what's going to happen is it's going to download 260 or 270 or maybe more um, of that. And then the rest of that 20 odd gigs will be downloaded directly off the, off the network. Okay, via Tor. Um, so that's basically how uh, we access our, um, our, our, our device through the terminal. Now, if you want, I think once it's synced, you can go into the Linux terminal here, but I think, yeah, it's, it's not working. Um, I think once it's synced, you should be able to get into the Linux terminal through there. Okay. So that's just a little bit about... Um, my node and, and getting that up to up to speed. Um, so that will then sort of keep continuously downloading in the background. Um, and so you can, you know, uh, keep an eye on it. Uh, it'll take maybe a couple of days or a day or two, depending on your internet connection. Um, also, understand that the 
amount of bandwidth that you are downloading. So the initial block download is obviously 300 gigabytes. Um, you might be sharing, if you're using QuickSync, you might be sharing out and uploading to other people who want to sync up to the network as well. Um, so yeah, it's just up to you what you want to do.